Welcome back. So let's look at a Biden uh, general election campaign and this idea of a third party. Pat, you are a big part of No Labels. You guys are mm -hmm. recruiting candidates. What is this ticket going to look like? And, uh, and is this a 100% commitment that there is going to be a, a ticket from No Labels? Well, Nikki Haley in the debate confirmed that 65% of the people are disgusted with both Trump and Biden being our only choices. They're asking, isn't America better than this? Can't we have a better choice? And the momentum, the movement of No Labels is uh, on fire right now. People are looking for another. I, I get that people candidate. don't want. And I know, I know. Wait a minute. No, there are a lot of people. There are a lot of people. No, they're not. There are a lot of people. I'm telling you right now. There are a lot of people who predicted Trump would never be president. Are the same people who are saying there's no way in hell a third party mm -hmm. can win. I'm telling you, we've never had 65 percent of the people disgusted with both So no with label both is literally a movement that says we stand for nothing. Imagine going that to Walmart so... or Target and oh. seeing no labels. You on haven't the read obviously products the 30 are issue a statements no, here, of no labels. The issue statement ignores abortion and it has such what, barn, you, you missed a whole, barn burning issues such as you medical tort it. reform that don't light up the audience you have not read so it. the, the reality it. is it's 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 finance <laughs> industry heavy oh i read it no i actually did read it, read it. i read it last night so i <laughs> that's why i couldn't sleep <laughs> yeah, really. Well, Nikki so, Haley basically repeated the, the no label. No, 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 no. So, so right. the, the problem isn't isn't uh, they don't like you know um, Biden or Trump. Is that you are creating this idea that there's a mythical unicorn creature that will agree with these people who want something else yeah. that doesn't exist. When Magellan pulled uh, Mansion and Huntsman. Mm -hmm. Like it was like what twelve percent, fifteen percent, and that wouldn't even get that much. All right. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I will say, and again, this is this is anecdotal conversations at my house. <laughs> is that is that does that reflect the country? I don't know, but I will say that none of us want to vote for Trump, and none of us want to vote for. I want to Biden. vote for Biden. No, no, I know who you want to vote for, dude. Yeah. That wasn't a question, but oh, average sorry, people, <laughs> average people, my house. <laughs> Don't want to vote for Biden. Right. Don't want to vote for Trump. And I don't think it's crazy. We All do right. want to vote for somebody. Stephanie, you were you're you were <laughs> ideologically in the middle. I, I wanted some ideological diversity. And we got a lot of it here. So where are you on this? Well, I, I think I agree that when I have conversations with uh, people in the swing part of what used to be a swing state, um, they say, you know, the both uh, presumptive nominees are running on a I'm better than the alternative campaign. Right. What it, Biden said uh, in the last campaign, don't judge me against the almighty, judge me against the alternative. That's not going to be enough because people are saying to themselves, why are these our only alternatives? Biden has to give people a reason to vote for him, not just voting against Trump Marcos, are you if he comfortable, wants to win. Are you comfortable that there, uh, that there isn't a Democratic primary? Would you like to see Biden have to no, no, no. come up there, with there's a better no reason. case? Biden is actually very popular among the Democrats. In civics polling, civics with a Q, mm. Biden mm. is sitting around 80%. With Democrats, there's no space. You think there's no space for an anti-Trump? There really is no uh, space for an anti-Biden. And there's a, I mean, just yeah. you talk about you know popularity. You see right now, you see Republicans going to groundbreaking ceremonies yeah. for Build Back Better and for uh, Inflation Reduction Act uh, I, I because have... taking credit for 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 projects that they voted against. Let's I actually would think. say that um, <laughs> there's not competition because a lot of these people are younger and the bench is younger and they're preserving their ability to run in the future and they don't want to go up against a sitting president. Pat, that's can, how I would say it. Can you give options. us some names? Because this I you know, Manchin and Huntsman ain't gonna that's not going to get you your unicorn. You, are there, what other I'm candidates? I'm just saying, candidates? I don't think there's going to be Will a shortage. Will Hurd, one of your candidates? I don't think there will be a shortage of candidates. Why can't you guys name some names? Because we want to go through a good process. We're going to have a convention in April, and we're going to be very transparent with American people, as we were with the 30 issues, the common sense issues. So that who we funds presented. your movement? Are we going to talk about transparency? What's that? Who's the funding? The, the same people who right. have groups that are funded with moveon.org right. that are trying to stop us people. from getting on the ballot. This is a discussion that has to end because of time, but it will not end. Yeah. Other than that, all right, that's all we have for today. Thank you for watching. We'll be back next week. As if it's Sunday, it's Meet the Press. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.